Hola, ¿cómo han estado? Como recuerdan, en esta unidad estamos de compras. En las lecciones anteriores, hemos conocido varios tipos de prendas y formas de nombrarlas y describirlas. De Así es. En el programa anterior, vimos que usando dos palabras distintas, podemos decir lo mismo acerca de un objeto. ¿Recuerdan? Cuando platiqué con Antonio sobre su ropa vieja, usamos sinónimos de old. Hi, Antonio. What are you doing? Why are you throwing those clothes on the floor? I'm so tired of my old clothes. They're ancient. Don't say that. Your clothes are very classic. <laughs> you mean unfashionable. Hoy vamos a hacer lo contrario. Lo que vamos a aprender serán palabras antónimas que se usan para indicar lo contrario. ¿Listos? ¡Comenzamos! Unit 3, Lesson 5, A Laptop is Practical. Identificarán palabras antónimas para describir prendas de vestir. This coat is beautiful, but it isn't for warm weather. It's for cold weather. What are you talking about? I'm looking for some clothes online. It's a store that has night clothes. But they don't look very comfortable. In fact, they look uncomfortable. Do you want to see? Okay, let me see. Here's this dress. It looks nice, but I'm sure it's very heavy. Mm. Look at all that fabric and those ornaments. It doesn't look light at all. Yes, you're right. Sometimes there are clothes that look pretty, but that doesn't mean they're comfortable. They're often really uncomfortable. Do you see these shoes? Mm -hmm. They look comfortable mm -hmm. and they're pretty. They're not ugly at all. Mm -hmm. I'd love a pair of shoes like this. But just look at the prices. These clothes are not cheap. In fact, they're very expensive. Wow, you're right. The prices are really high. Yes, they're not cheap. That's for sure. Why don't you look on a different website? I already looked on a lot of websites. What about the clothes that you designed? Why don't you make some more clothes? Clothes you like at a good price. Yes, I'd love to design and make more clothes. But I have no new ideas for designs. All my designs are old. So, you're looking for clothes in catalogs to get new ideas for your designs? Yes. That's right, but I'm not inspired yet. You know, you can look for new ideas in other places too. Why don't you look on social networks like Facebook or Twitter? That's not a bad idea. That's a great idea. I'll do that. What do you want to tell us, Sarah? Yes, what's your new idea? Are you talking about making clothes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think we should do that again. Wow, Hero, you're reading my mind. Oh no, it is a bad business for us. But reading minds could be a very good business. Making clothes is not a bad business. It's a hard business. Reading minds could be an easy business. <laughs> okay, okay, please keep to the point. My idea is this. Mm, we should look for people who want to design clothes. Mm -hmm. We can find them through Radio Rebelde and also through our web page, mm -hmm. Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
And then we can buy the ecological material to make clothes. <laughs> and finally, we can take the designs and the material to the dressmaker that made our clothes the last time. Mm. I really liked his work. He did good work. Yes, his work wasn't bad. <laughs> so you like the idea? It's done, okay? Now, Crystal has some news for you. <laughs> right, Crystal? Yes, you're right. We want to invite everyone who likes to design clothes to send us their ideas. We can work on them and make them. Yes, don't you want your ideas to come to life? Any piece of clothing you imagine, <laughs> we could make it and you could wear it. Well, almost any piece of clothing. If it's really ugly, we will ask you to fix it. But if it's nice, there's no problem. <laughs> Cristal? I can help you. Why don't you bring me your computer so that we can work on it? I can't bring my computer here. <laughs> it's very big and heavy. It's not small. Do you still have a PC? <laughs> PCs are very impractical. <laughs> They're not practical at all. Why don't you get a laptop? A laptop is very practical. Yes, I know. And cheap too. Now, laptops are not expensive like they were before. We should try to get you a laptop very soon with some of the donations to La Covacha. After all, you work here. Wow, thanks Antonio. That would be really cool. So, can we work here on your computer? Yes, for the moment we can. Come here. We just have to decide which clothes we like the most. We can throw away all the suits for a start. They're boring. No, Peke. We won't throw them away. I don't like suits. They're too elegant for me. I'm more casual, but some people like to wear them. Hey, you should see this sweater. It comes in pink and in blue. In pink, it looks ugly, <laughs> but in blue, it looks pretty. <laughs> right! I would like that sweater in blue. It looks modern in blue. In pink, it just looks old. Wow! I just found my new favorite t-shirt. It's too big for me in extra large. But it's too small in medium. I think large is just perfect for me. So, after the interview, we have some good news for you. Here are Sara and Cristal to give you the news. Mm -hmm. That's right. All the new clothes that all of you designed are here. Yes! Your fashion designs are now a reality. I know. Ideas can be better than reality. But maybe you will like the clothes anyway. Come on, Peke. Don't listen to her, Rebels. The new clothes are beautiful. That's right, Hero. They're not ugly at all. Mm -hmm. We have clothes for all sizes, mm -hmm. big and small. They come in dark and light colors. Mm -hmm. They come in thick materials for cold weather and thin materials mm -hmm. for warm weather. For tall and short people, for fat and thin people, mm -hmm. for young and old people. Also, <laughs> they come in modern, classical mm -hmm. and more traditional styles mm -hmm. for hot or cold weather. Mm -hmm. You can come and see all the new clothes this Sunday. We are selling them in the Central Square in Tlacotalpan from 9 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Also, you can order them on the internet on RadioRebelde.com. Mm -hmm. Remember, all the money goes for new computers for La Covacha. We really need them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cristal and Sarasvati. Mm -hmm. So, we expect to see all you rebels down there. Now, we're going to cut to some music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, how did the sale go, Sara? It was great, Antonio. <laughs> Thank you. We sold everything. Mm -hmm. From the most uncomfortable piece to the most comfortable one. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Well, now you can buy a laptop. Yes, I will do that. Mm -hmm. We have to thank all the designers for their wonderful work. <laughs> All their fashion designs will be posted on the Radio Rebelde webpage. Mm -hmm. Well, they deserve it. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go get some food. I'm very hungry. Yes, me too. I would love some tostadas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
usamos algunos adjetivos antónimos para describir ropa. Como se vio durante el programa, las palabras antónimas describen características contrarias. Llegó el momento de hacer unos ejercicios. Primero, el objetivo es leer las palabras de la columna que aparecerán en pantalla. Uncomfortable, pretty, heavy, big, expensive y warm. Y en la otra columna tenemos small, cold, comfortable, light, ugly y cheap. Ahora busquemos los antónimos de la columna derecha. ¿Listos? Primero, uncomfortable, incómodo. Ahora la palabra pretty, bonito. Ahora heavy, pesado. Big, grande. Y de la palabra expensive, caro, es... Y por último, el antónimo de la palabra warm, caliente, abrigador, es... Muy bien, chicos. ¿Qué tal les fue? Agreguen estas palabras a su vocabulario. Y ahora veamos cómo los usan Jerónimo y Sarasvati. I have a new blouse. It's not ugly at all. It's very... Aquí tenemos dos opciones de antónimos para la palabra ugly. ¿Será pretty o awful? Y la respuesta es pretty. I have a new blouse. It's not ugly at all. It's very pretty. These pants are not very comfortable. They are really... Aquí tenemos dos opciones de antónimos para la palabra comfortable. ¿Será uncomfortable o cheap? Y la respuesta es uncomfortable. These pants are not very comfortable. They are really uncomfortable. My laptop is not very heavy. I can carry it everywhere. It is very... Aquí tenemos dos opciones de antónimos para la palabra heavy. ¿Será light? A modern. Y la respuesta es light. My laptop is not very heavy. I can carry it everywhere. It is very light. <laughs> it is very cold today. I should wear my thick sweater to keep me. Aquí tenemos dos opciones de antónimos para la palabra cold. Será light or warm. Y la respuesta es... Warm. It is very cold today. I should wear my thick sweater to keep me warm. Y esto es todo por esta lección. La próxima vez estaremos revisando cómo hablar en plural. Es decir, cuando hay más de uno. ¡Nos vemos en la próxima lección! 